Hello everybody, welcome back to the Dugout Football channel and it is the turn of the table predictions yet again and this time we are going to be predicting the most fascinating and bonkers league to predict. Yes, that is right, that is the AFL Championship. Last season, three teams ended up on 90 plus points, especially with one not going up, that was obviously Leeds United not going up with 90 points absolutely unheard of probably one of the best championship seasons we've ever likely to see so what will happen this time well as we all know with these prediction videos it only my opinion so please get your predictions down in the comments and i'm pretty sure you will have your own so who have i got to go down in these in the relegation zone this season so 24th uh we're gonna go for oxford united look i think you have to say oxford united finished fifth last season in uh, league one so very very well done to them for getting up i think it's absolutely fantastic they have lost josh murphy i think that's a really really big blow and they have lost billy bolden uh, as well two players who were uh, instrumental in getting them back into the uh the uh, back getting them into the championship <clears throat> um as well so yeah i'm a bit I'm a bit concerned about Oxford, but look, they could easily prove everyone wrong. They could easily prove everyone wrong. Um, and I do think that uh, they they will they will give a few teams some, some uh, problems this season. Uh, but I just I'm a bit afraid of the lack of quality. I think a lack of quality might be the their undoing. Uh, but look, good luck to Oxford United. Uh, I hope you do well. Uh, I have obviously got a I've got a friend who's an Oxford United fan. I hope you do well. I really, really do hope you do well. Uh, 23rd, we have Derby County. Uh, obviously, Paul Warren, uh, manager of, uh, of Derby County. Uh, and Derby finished second last season, which was very, very good for them. Uh, they have brought in Ben Osborne. They have brought in Caden Jackson um, as well. They have lost Connor Hurahan. They have lost him. Um, Derby are an interesting one because when you look at Derby, I think... Probably too good for League One. I think it's the safest thing to, to say. They are they are a very very big team when you when you look at it. Um, they are back in the championship for the for the first time in a while. I think the thing is though, Paul Warren doesn't really do well in the championship, especially with Rotherham. He he was relegated quite a couple of times with them, wasn't he? So I look at Derby County and I think this is going to be a season of uh, of struggle. This is ever going to be a season of uh, of struggle for them. Um, it's going to be a very interesting time for for Derby, but good luck to them. Good luck to them. They're back in the championship. Let's see what what uh, what will happen. But uh, yeah, for me, I'm going to go for them to be uh, relegated in twenty third position. Now the third team. This might be a bit of surprise because these two teams, the the next positions. This could go either way. So, 22nd, I have got Blackburn Rovers to go down. Now, John Eustace came in last season. Um, let's just say John Dal Thomason left midway through the season. John Eustace came in. Uh, John Eustace, by the way, should never have been sacked by Birmingham City. I still say to this day he should never have been sacked by Birmingham City. Um, comes into Blackburn. Now, they have brought in Eden Doherty, they have brought in, you know, Jack Barris as well. But the big question is, will Sammy Smodic still be there? There is a lot of talk that he is going to potentially go to Ipswich. There's a lot of talk potentially about him uh, potentially leaving as well. I do worry for them, Blackburn. I think the lack of investment over the last couple of years, I think, is uh, you know came into that. They we're very, very fortunate to stay up last season. I, I, I thought they were going to go down last season, uh, but obviously a very good win against uh, Leicester City on the final day managed to secure their championship status. And I do worry for them. I, I do worry for them. And I think if they do lose Smodic. I think it's curtains for them. I really, really do. Um, obviously, I know you know um, big YouTuber. Obviously, Blackburn Rover sees he's a very, very good uh, YouTuber. Uh, Blackburn, Blackburn are a team for me that have been out of the Premier League way, way too long, um, and I just got a feeling this season. I think they could slip. 
I just have a feeling they could they could sneak into that relegation zone. And um, look, it's going to be a very very tricky season for them. Um, and again, I think it does depend on whether um, Sami Smodic does stay or not. So. So I am I three to go down are Oxford United, Derby County and Blackburn Rovers. Now, staying up just, and they finished here last season, was 21st Plymouth Argyll. Now, ah, yeah, Wayne Rooney. <sighs> Birmingham say that was an absolute disaster. That was an absolute disaster for Wayne Rooney last season. Uh, look, he, he going to Birmingham was not the best move. Did well at Derby County, let me put it that way. He did, he did well, obviously, in the US. He's come to Plymouth. Now, this is very interesting. Uh, you know, when when, the, when it was sort of first announced that he was going to go to Plymouth, I thought, oh no, what's going to you know, what's going to happen? But I think as well when you look at the t- the players that they've been linked with, Rooney is actually wanting to get you know sort of Premier League youngsters, and one of them could be Jaden Dans. Jaden Dans of of Liverpool, of course, could be potentially coming in um, as well. Again, as I said, it all depends on Morgan Whitaker. Is he going to leave now? This is why I've put Blackburn and Plymouth where they are because I think if one of them loses. Um, if, well, if Blackburn lose Smodich and you know Plymouth lose Morgan Whitaker, then they could swap. They could easily swap. Uh, but look, Plymouth got some very good players. Ryan Hardy, obviously, still there um, as well. And you know, he it's going to be a very, very tough season for for Plymouth. But I am going to say I just got a feeling that they're going to survive. Just, just going to survive. I'm going to say it at the Wayne Rooney stays a whole season at Plymouth and I think they will just survive. I think I think survival is definitely their uh, expectations this season. And then obviously try and build up, up on that um, as well. But then again, they could easily surprise us. You know, they, they, they had some good victories last season at Home Park. Uh, they can make that a fortress and it should be okay for them. But yeah, I'm going to go for Plymouth to just survive this season. Uh, so we will go to number 20th. Now, this is a team that is mid-table mediocrity when you look at it. Their highest finish, Sto- I'm going to Stoke City 20th, their highest finish has been 14th. And they've been 14th, 15th, 16th, 17th. Um, and then obviously last season, um, yeah, they finished 17th. I've got a feeling they might fall this time. Um, I've got a feeling they might fall. Look, the one thing with Stoke City is they are another club that have uh, had uh, parachute payments, the lack of parachute payments now, and they're they're running out now. Um, Stoke City have never been that team that sort of want to sort of get into the top half, and that's my main concern for them. Um, I do worry about a lack of goals as well. There is talk that potentially uh, Kiana Hoover might be, um, you know, joining another rival of, of Stoke City. It's not looking good for Stoke City. Stephen Schumacher obviously came in from Plymouth last season, and Stoke is a very tough job. It is a very very tough job. You, 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 you've got to say. Um, so yeah, I'm going to say I'm going to say Stoke finished twentieth, and might be a bit low, but. I've just got a feeling. I've just got a feeling that Stoke might uh, have a season of uh, of struggle, and they might potentially be in that sort of that relegation bat- uh, relegation uh, battle. Uh, but 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 who knows? But who knows? But yeah, I'm going to go for Stoke in the in twentieth place. And they're back, uh, number nineteenth. Uh, we will get there. Is Portsmouth are back. Yes, Portsmouth are back. Uh, they have made some very good signings. Um, obviously, John Messina is a very, very good manager. They've got Jordan Archer, obviously, uh, uh, as well. Uh, and obviously, Portsmouth did win League One last season. So it's great to see them back. And they've got Josh Murphy, the hero for Oxford United, and they've managed to get him in from uh, from Oxford. Look, I think Portsmouth will be fine. Fratton Park, Will be absolutely bouncing. Uh, obviously, play up Pompey, as we all we all like to like to hear that. I think they'll they'll have a a season of survival. I, I think they I think they'll probably do better than the the other two promoted teams. But um, I think they'll do well. 
I think they will uh, they will do well. They'll have a season of uh, security, and then again, I think they might sort of build up on that. So I am going to go for uh, 19th Portsmouth. Welcome back to the EFL Championship. Poor Bobby. 18th, I'm going to go Swansea City. Um, now, this is an interesting one because they've obviously brought in Goncalo Franco. They brought in Lawrence Vigoro from obviously uh, Burnley. Uh, they have got a Korean boy as well. I think they're getting another um, Czech player as well. Swansea, Liam Williams is now is obviously the manager there. Um, it was not a good season for them last season. Um, I do feel that they could struggle. I do feel that they they could uh, they could struggle uh, again. Another side that really struggled since coming down from the you know the uh, from the from the Premier League, and I think Swansea. There's not much optimism at Swansea at the moment. Um, you know, if you speak to if you speak to famous fans like of you know of, of the recent course of the you know, um, I think there's a lot of um, pessimism about 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 the place uh, at Swansea and I think they need more signings. I think they, they, they definitely need more signings. Um I would have had them lower if I'm being honest. I would have probably had them a little bit uh, a little bit lower. But they have made some good signings as I've said. Lawrence Vigoro I think is a very good signing for you know the goalkeeping position uh, there um as well. But yeah, if they get a few more signings they might be able to, you know, get back uh, back up to back on the table a little bit. But um yeah, we'll see. We'll see what uh, we'll see what happens. Anyway, seventeenth. Uh, I'm going Watford now. This is obviously um, Tom Cleverley's first managerial job, and uh, what the last place he would manage is Watford. Uh, Musa Sissoko is back at Watford. Um, yes, Musa Sissoko is back at uh, Watford. Obviously, Dumbia um, uh, as well. But again, another club that are running out of parachute payments, and I think they're almost running out um, as well. I think we're now going to see Watford being in that sort of that mid-table sort of mediocrity, um, unfortunately. And, like, I've got to say, I was very surprised of how long Valerian Ishmael stayed at, um, at Watford. I thought he would have been long, long gone um, in towards the season. But look, Watford, it was... February, I think he went, uh, Valerian Ishmael, and then obviously look what uh, look what happened um, uh, as well. But can Watford keep a manager for one season <laughs> for a whole season? Well, who knows? Who knows indeed? But um, yeah, I'm. I've got a feeling Watford might drop down at the table this season. Got a feeling that they might drop down a couple of places. Uh, they finished fifteenth last season. I'm going to go for them to finish in seventeenth. I have actually seen people have um, a little bit. Um, as well, so um, yeah, I'm going to go Watford in 17th place. 16th place, I'm having them to have a better season. Is QPR? Uh, they finished 18th last season. Um, Sefuentes has obviously came in. Look, I think he's a very good manager. He, he he definitely lifted the place. Look, they were in absolute going absolutely nowhere with um, Gareth Ainsworth as as manager. Sefuentes comes in. And they, they you, everyone remember the win against Leeds. Everyone remember that 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 game. They obviously did gift um, Leicester the title uh, there as well. Like they have lost Chris Willock. I think that is a a bit of a blow. Um, we don't know what's going to happen. Obviously, Elias Chair is obviously you know facing a, a you know prison sentence um, as well. Lyndon Dykes has apparently been been linked away um, as well. So I expect QPR to have a better season. Um, I do think that they will be in and amongst the race for sort of that top 10 uh, for sure. But I'm just going to be sort of on the, on the fence a little bit. And I'm going to put, I'm going to put them in 16th, uh, 16th place. But look, this is a few is a very good manager and I think they will do well this season. So 15th place and falling slightly. I've got Preston North End. Now there isn't a lot of transfer activity. There isn't a lot of band transfer activity. Obviously, the main one for 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 Preston going out is Alan Brown, um, a very good player. He's gone to Sunderland um, as well. And Ryan Lowe, the the problem I have with Preston is that they start very very well, start like a house on fire, 
you remember you remember that they were up there um early parts early part of the season um that they you know they they were getting very very close towards uh, you know if, if if you remember it it was Leicester Ipswich and Preston and then they fell away they completely fell away um and unfortunately i just got a feeling that this is going to be one of those seasons i think they might start well again but i think they might sort of f- fall away again it's just it's one of those it's one of those isn't it so we'll wait and see but yeah i'm i've got preston to to fall ever so slightly but uh, i was a good luck to ryan low and uh and preston north bend but um yeah i, I hope preston do well i hope preston do well deep dale lovely ground lovely ground of course 14th place got Bristol City. Yeah, I've got them to fall slightly. Um, Liam Manning, of course, is the is the manager. Uh, they have lost Andreas Weiman, uh, which is quite interesting. Manny James is away um, as well. And there's talk that potentially Tommy Conway might be going. Um, now... I'll be honest, Tommy Conway is a very, very good striker. I've seen him play for Bristol City. I think he's a very, very good player. I'm surprised he was wasn't used as much at the Euros for Scotland. I've been, you know, been very, very vocal in saying that. Um, but I've got to say, I just, I think Bristol City are a team that are, again, just a, just a bit like sort of QPR that they're kind of wanting to get sort of into that top half. Um, unfortunately, I just got a feeling that they they might fall. They might fall this season. Um, and if they lose Tommy Conway, that's a big blow. But then again, they've still got Naki Wells, and they've still got Naki Wells at the at the at uh, you know striking position uh, for sure. So it was a good lot to Bristol City um, as well. But uh, yeah, I'm going to go for 14th place, Bristol City. And there we go, 13th. Uh, I have gone for. Cardiff City. I've gone for Cardiff City and I've got to be honest, um, Bullet's obviously the, the manager there. I'm surprised he's still there. I There were big, big mumblings last season that he was potentially going to go. Um, you know, there was talk obviously he wasn't going to sign a new contract. He did. And I've got to say some of the signings that Cardiff have made uh, are very, very good. Callum Chambers is there. I've got to say, Chris Wallach is a very good sign-in. I think that's a really, really good sign-in. El Ghazi. Anwar El Ghazi. That is a cracking sign-in. Um, I know that he did very, very well, obviously, with you know with, um, with Aston Villa. And I think he will do well at Cardiff. I think he will do it. He do well at Cardiff. Obviously, shout out to obviously Paul and Nathan. Um, I know that they're, um, you know, I know that they'll be wanting Cardiff to, you know, do very, very well this time, um, as well. But like, I, I think, I think it could be a season where they might start well. They might have a bit of an in uh, iffy, iffy sort of middle, um, and then obviously see what uh, what happens. But yeah, I, I'm gonna go for for thirteenth. Wouldn't surprise me if they do finish top half. Would not surprise me in the in the slightest. But. I think Cardiff. Are, I think Cardiff are building a good team there, and I think they they will they, they will do well. They will do well this season. So I'm going to go Cardiff City thirteenth, twelfth place. I've got Hull City now. They have brought in Ryan Giles. I think that's a very very good signing for for Hull. Um, I was amazed last season that they got rid of Liam Rossini. I was so shocked when I found that out. Absolutely shocked as anything, um, and. They have lost a couple of players. Like Jacob Greaves has gone to Ipswich. They've obviously lost Jaden Philogene, who's gone back to Aston Villa. Uh, Liam Delap as well. Liam Delap's now gone to Ipswich Town, um, of course. Good luck to Tim Bolter. I, I think there's, that, 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 that's, the, that's the safest thing I can say. Good luck to him because Hall, another club who, ever since coming down, you know they've they've been there or thereabouts. They've almost gotten to the the playoffs, um, but I've just got a feeling, just got a feeling that they might they might fall uh, this season. But as I said, good luck to to Tim Volter, um as well. But we'll wait and see what uh, what will happen with uh, with Hull City. Eleventh place, I've got Sunderland. Um, no, they are managed by a Frenchman uh, whose whose name is Le Brie. Um 
they have brought in Simon Moore, Alan Brown. Um, uh, Simon, Simon Moore, obviously, for the goalkeeping position. Alan Brown from Preston, which I think is a very, very good signing. This could go either one or two ways. It could go very, very well. They could have a very good managerial bounce and they could easily get top half and be fighting for the playoffs. Or they could struggle. They could struggle like they, they did last season and go through a very good spell, a very iffy spell, um, and then not win game after game. Like I, I, I felt for uh, obviously Tony Mowbray going, um, you know, last season. Um, it's going to be interesting because last season, obviously, they had three managers, didn't they? they Tony Mowbray, Michael, yeah, Michael Beale. That, that did not work. That did not work at the, in the slightest. And now they've got Libby, um as well. Sunderland, big club, but big, big expectations, I think, is to try and, uh, you know, get into that sort of that top half um, of the of the league. But as I said, we'll see what happens. We will definitely see what uh, what happens. But, uh, yeah, they've definitely got to sort out their home form. That, that, that's something they've got to sort out, definitely. A lot of teams won it um, staying in the light last season. So I would say that you would definitely need to see what will happen. But I'm going to go... Sunderland to finish in 11th place. So we now come to the top 10. Now, this is one of my bold predictions yet. They finished 20th last season. I'm going to go 10th, Sheffield Wednesday. Um, now, I'm going to say this now. Danny Roll is a very good manager. Um, we all remember what happened last season with the... Uh, with what happened to obviously Darren Moore was sacked. Obviously, um, Cisco Munoz comes in. Didn't go well. Did not go well for for them uh, for them at all. Um, Jan Ballery, Nathaniel Chalaba, Ben Hamer are just some of the some of the players they you know they they bought as well. Um, they obviously have lost Lee Gregory um, as well. But Josh Windass is still there. I think that's that's a, a very very good uh, good player to to have around um, as well and. I've just got a feeling Sheffield, Sheffield Wednesday were one of the informed teams last season. If you, like, if you remember, they got win after win after win after win. And this is what, what, what kept them up. This is what kept them up in the, at the end of the season. And I just think Danny Rowe gets a full you know, pre-season, a full transfer window ahead of him. I think Sheffield Wednesday could well be the surprise package. And I'm going to go for them to finish in 10th place because I've got a feeling that they will do very, very well um, indeed. So good luck to Danny. I've got to be honest, I was very impressed with Danny Rowe when he did his um, punditry on uh, ITV. I thought it was very impressed with the way he came across and I think he will do well with uh, Sheffield Wednesday. So I'm going to go 10th place, Sheffield Wednesday. Ninth place, Millwall. Um, obviously, Neil Harris came in last season. I think it's just it's safe to say that Millwall had that season where they almost got into the playoffs, almost, and then obviously, you know, they, they had that collapse against Blackburn. Got out of the guy, um, which I think was a surprise. I think it was a bit of a, a, bit of a surprise. Uh, Neil Harris has came in. Look, Neil Harris knows this league. Neil Harris knows this league. And I think Millwall had a bit of a disappointing season last season to finish in uh, in 13th um they have got louis langstaff now i've got to be honest um i don't know a lot about louis langstaff i know that from obviously mk don's days he was very very good there did well in league two now it's the sort of the step up to the the championship um as well and obviously my have obviously got kevin this bit there um as well sad news though obviously was the death of uh matthias circuit Obviously, it, hurt, it it that really did hurt me. Um, I, I won't lie because I know Matthias Sarkis, obviously from Wolves, Aston Villa, Livingston. He was at my Scottish club for a wee bit um, as well. Just so so sad. Uh, I like the fact that they've um, retired the number twenty shirt in his honour. I think that's a really really good um, idea to do. Um, so yeah, look, it, very very sad when they lost um, 
when they lost Matthias Arkas. I think that was a very, very uh, sad, sad thing to, uh, to to say the very, very least. So, yeah, look, good luck to Millwall. I think you will be there or thereabouts, and I think you could be easily uh, battling uh, for a playoff position because I like Neil Harris. I think he's a very good manager. He did very, very well in Gillingham, him, and I think he will do it very, very well uh, here at Millwall. So, eighth place. They finished eighth last season. I'm going to go for Middlesbrough, and again, I would not be surprised if they are, you know, challenging for a potential um, place in the in the playoffs. Uh, Michael Carrick, of course, another uh, another good uh, another season under his belt. Luke Ailing is one of the players who's obviously um, came in as well. And have Middlesbrough now found their answer to Chuba Agpom? Now, what I will say, Chuba Agpom did score 25-plus for Middlesbrough. Um, Lati Lath, this is a player who to watch. I would not be too surprised if he scores a lot of goals in this league. And it wouldn't surprise me again if he is up there for the Golden Boot at the end of the season. Look, I think Middlesbrough are a team that did very, very well last season. I think they were very unfortunate to miss out on the, on the playoffs. And I think you've got to say as well that um, they will do well. I think they will have a, a, another good season. Again, I think they will be definitely challenging for the um, for the for the playoffs. Um, as well. I just got them to miss out again. I just, just I think there's probably teams this season where there's there there is like a lot of teams that are quite similar to them. Um, I, I I've just got a feeling that they will just miss out um, again. So I'm going to go for them to miss out again. Seventh place, Norwich City. Now, what I'm going to say about Norwich last season, they were. It was disappointing to see them not get up. It was definitely disappointing to see them not get up. Look, I think if they had got up, I think they would have probably been embarrassed. Let's put it that way. David Wagner is now gone. They are now with uh, Thorup um, in, in, in charge as well. Uh, they have lost a couple of players, but they've still got the likes of, obviously, Sarah, uh, Sergeant. Um, um, as well, so uh, I I think Norwich will will do will do have a good, have a good season. And to be honest, you know, seventh place with a new manager is not a, not a bad season, not a bad season uh, in any stretch of the imagination. So I am going to go for Norwich City to finish in seventh place. And now we come to the playoff positions, and I've got sixth place West Brom. Um, yeah, Carlos Corberan. I think he's a very good manager. Uh, I'm surprised a lot of teams don't seem to be wanting to appoint him. I know he was linked with obviously Leicester. He was linked with, with Leicester. And I think I think there is a, a time where Carlos Corberan will probably have a promotion uh, in in his sights, and I, it might be this, might be this time, might be this time. Like uh, West Brom, they have brought in Diakiti. They've obviously brought in Joel Wildsmith um, as well. They still have Thomas Asante a lot of rumours about him potentially going um, as well but look West Brom had a good season last season finishing fifth and I I, I think they will, will end up in the playoffs again I've just got a, got a really good feeling for West Brom and I think they will uh, I think they will uh, end up in the in the playoffs so going to go sixth place the Baggies now we go to fifth place, and I'm going Sheffield United. Now, a lot of people will, will probably not know this, but Sheffield United do start with a minus two deduction. It's not a big deduction. Let's, let's put it this way. It's not a big deduction. Um, Chris Wilder knows this league very, very well. Um, you know, they brought in Shackleton. They brought in Kiefer Moore. I think that's a really good sign-in. Uh, to obviously replace Ollie McBurney, he's obviously left now. Uh, Calmo here from Coventry, I think that's a very, very good sign in as well. I don't know if they're good enough to go up this season. Uh, last season was an absolute disaster in the Premier League. Um, yeah, I think they, sc- they conceded over 100 goals, which is absolutely unheard of uh, for a team that uh, you know goes up and uh, and does that and finishing bottom was, was very, very poor. Um, yeah, not the best of seasons for Sheffield United. And look, I think um, they've still got a, a very a good a good squad. They've still got the bulk of their you know their Premier League squad. Uh, Gustavo Hamer, be interesting to see if he, he's still there by the time uh, that the start of the season comes. So 
But I've got them to finish fifth. I've got them to finish fifth. I've just got a feeling that they will make the playoff, but not quite good enough to go up. So fifth place, Sheffield United. Now I'm going to go for this. Uh, this is one of my. Uh, this is one of my predictions already. I'm going to go fourth, Coventry City, and I'm going to say that they are the playoff winners. I'm going to say that they are the playoff winners. I like what Mark Robbins did last season. That run for the to the FA Cup semi final was absolutely amazing. The win against Wolves, you know, they were so unlucky against Manchester United. They were about a toenail away from being Manchester United. They were so close to winning that. Um, I think this could be the season they go up. I've got a really, really good feeling for them. Uh, Ellis Sims, Haji Wright, uh, Sakamoto as well. They've still got, you know, they've got him as well. I think Coventry are in for a good season. And, you know, I think, I know they had a bit of a disappointing season last season, finishing ninth, but, you know, they had that FA Cup run to, to look back on. But I've just got a feeling that this could be the season they go up. And this could be the season they definitely go up. So I'm going to go for Coventry City to finish fourth, and I've got them to be my playoff winners, which will please a lot of Coventry City fans. Let me just say that. They will please a lot of Coventry City fans as well. Uh, third place, I have Luton Town. Um, Rob Edwards, fantastic manager. Fantastic manager. Whatever you want to say about him, he is a really good manager. I was so gutted that Luton Town went down last season. Look, I think they were unlucky in the end. I think injuries were uh, got the better of them, unfortunately. Um, they have lost a couple of players. Obviously, Ross Barkley's gone. Ryan Giles is gone. Um, but they've got in Shandon Baptiste. They've still got Adebayo and Morris. And they're one of the best-run clubs in the championship. They're definitely one of the best-run clubs up there. Um, so... I have them to finish third. I just think they might miss out, but they, again, Rob Edwards uh, did a very good job getting them up uh, the previous season. I think they will do well. And uh, Kenilworth Road uh, has been expanded slightly um, as well since the last time they were in the Championship. So I think Lewin Town will have a good season um, as well, but just not quite enough to make the playoff, uh, the, the Premier League this time. So, automatic promotion. But second place, I have Scott Parker's Burnley. I think that Scott Parker knows this league, he knows how to get out of it, and I think he could be in for a good season. I think he could be in for a good season. They have brought in Hadladki, Trezor, um, as well. Obviously, a couple of goalkeepers going out, obviously. Peacock, Farrell, um, and obviously Murich uh, is another one. Uh, Biguru, um as well, who was at uh, Burnley, is obviously going to Swansea. As well, but look, Burnley were disappointed in the Premier League last season. I think Scott Parker will get them up. I've, I, I've just got a feeling that Scott Parker knows this league. I think he will do well. There is potentially, now I, I have been noticing this, there is potentially a, a rumour that Burnley are going to go for Tommy Conway. Now, if they get Tommy Conway, that would be a very good sign up. I think he would score goals in this Burnley side. And, uh, yeah, I think it would be a very, very good sign for, for Burnley um, as well. But, yeah, Burnley, automatic promotion, I think is the safest thing to uh, to say there as well. So, who are my champions? Well, I've got to say, last season, they blew it. They absolutely blew it. This time around, I just think they've got the squad. They've got the squad to do it. Leeds United are my champions, and... I think they'll be the majority of many champions um, as well. They brought, have brought in, obviously, Joel Roden um, as well, Jaden Bogle. They have lost Archie Gray um, as well. But still got Somerville at time of recording. They've still got Nonto. They've still got Melier. So Leeds still have the bulk of that squad last season. Look, Leeds United's end to last season was absolutely horrendous. Seven defeats out of 11. Was the was the was the reason they didn't go up? Blew it. They completely blew it. They were they were beating uh, Fair and Square, I think, by Southampton in that playoff final. Uh, but yeah, Daniel Farker, another manager who knows how to get out of this league. Another manager who knows how to get out of this league. So yeah, for me, I'm going to go Leeds United to finish as champions, and it would not be would not surprise me. And many people do predict them to uh, finish as uh, as champions um, as well. 
So there we have it. There we have it. That is my predictions for the 24-25 EFL Championship season. I'm sure you have your own um, as well. But please do get your comments in the comment section down below. And as I said at the start, it is only my opinion um, as well. But uh, I hope you have enjoyed this. Uh, please do check out the uh, Scottish Premiership predictions that I did do a couple of days ago. Um, as well. And I really want to uh, thank, you, thank you all for, uh, you know, watching that um, as well. And I did actually notice as well, 84% of you um, recently have, have been watching um, my channel and have not been subscribed. So please hit that subscribe button. Please do hit that subscribe button. Please leave a like on the video as well. And uh, yeah, let us enjoy the bonkers thing. That is the EFL Championship. And I will see you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye for now.